Hello everyone, welcome to Mark Bank. And in this DS session of ratio proportion, we are solving a problem that says that if x varies directly as y and and x varies inversely as the square of z. So you are being asked to value, right? So let us first try to understand as to what is the meaning of x varies directly as y. So the meaning of x so if x is increasing that means that y is also increasing isn't it and when x is decreasing y is also decreasing that is why we say that there is a direct relationship between these two variables if the independent variable will increase the dependent variable will also increase so what is independent and dependent variables over here another another, another question over here x is an independent variable because y has to increase or decrease on the basis of x so can i afford to say that x is in direct proportion to y when x is increasing y is increasing when x is decreasing y is decreasing so x becomes your independent variable and y becomes your dependent variable now one thing that you must understand is we need to bring a proportionality constant over here. Now there is another relationship. It says that x is inversely proportional to inversely proportional to the square of z. Can we say this? Now what is the meaning of inverse relationship? The meaning of inverse relationship is when x is increasing, y is decreasing, and when x is decreasing, over here we are talking about z, not y. So the z has to increase. So can you appreciate that there is the, the, the inverse relationship? Right? Now I should be writing over here as x is inversely proportional to square of z. And that is how we are getting these two. That is how we are getting these two. Number 1 and number 2. So should I be saying that from 1 and 2, should I be saying that y over z square now this is the third analysis so this is what the problem is talking about that x is in direct relationship with y and in inverse relationship with square of z now we must bring a proportionality constant into picture that is what that is what you need to do say k times y over z square i think you have done it in your childhood whenever you have to we have to eliminate the proportionality we need to bring a constant into the picture and that is what we have done over here now now the problem says that when y is 75 and x is 6 z is 25 so if the value of every variable is given x is given y is given and z is given so can we find out what is our proportion proportionality constant value so let us find it out so the value of x is 6. The value of x is 6. What is the value of k times y is 75? And z is given as 25, so this becomes 25 because this is square of z. So 25 bunja and 3 za. So 6 is 3k. The value of k becomes 2. Now we have got our proportionality constant, right? So let us find out this equation this equation once again. So this equation will be nothing but 2y over z square is our equation. Now what the question is talking about? Question wants you to find out what is the value of x when y is when y is 24 and z is 40. So sorry 4. So z square becomes 16. So 8 2 is a and 8 3 is a. 2 2 gets cancelled from numerator and denominator. The value of x comes out as 3. So what did we learn out of this problem? We learned that what is the direct relationship? What is indirect relationship? As to how we should be combining these two and writing as a proportionality. How to write a proportionality constant? How to find out the value of a proportionality constant and then find out variables. I hope you have understood this. If you still have any doubt, please write us at the faculty at the rate of mockman.com.
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो बाय बाय एंड टेक केयर